Hello everyone, how you doing? DeAndre Smith here. And this video is designed to show you the ins and outs in combining like terms. Now combining like terms is a subject matter that's going to build. Um, this is one of the first lessons in getting into algebra and we're going to utilize the stuff that we learn from this lesson in future lessons um, as far as when it comes to simplifying expressions or when it comes to solving equations or solving inequalities. So without further ado, I don't want to waste any more time, let's go to the board. Hello everyone. Again, this lesson is on combining like terms. And this is one of many lessons or a series of lessons that are going to come in simplifying algebraic expressions. So to master the concept today of combining like terms, we're going to focus on three points. First, we're going to understand the difference between terms and factors. Second, we're going to learn about what are like terms. And then lastly, we're going to talk about combining those like terms. In understanding the difference between terms and factors, first we need to understand what terms and factors are. So the definition of terms is something that can be added or subtracted. The definition of a factor is something that can be multiplied or divided. So I'm about to give you an abstract example but it's closely related and will help us to understand um, really what term and factor is. So in the sentence, I can go, the sentence is made up of letters and it's made up of words. So the word, so to speak, would be our terms. So I can go. So our terms are separated by spaces. Well, in a mathematical expression, Terms are separated by addition or subtraction. So our terms in this case would be 2x, 3y, and z. Inside of individual terms, you have factors. Or inside of individual words, you have letters. So the letters, so to speak, would be our factors. So in term number one, our factors would be 2 and x. In term two, it will be 3 and y. And then in term three, it will just be z. So in this example, we have 2x plus 3xy plus 2y times the quantity of 3 plus x. So if we were explaining what the terms are, the terms are everything that's separated by addition. So our terms would be 2x, 3xy, and 2y times the quantity of 3 plus x. Now I know you're probably wondering, well why, why the parentheses, there's an addition sign inside of the parentheses, why isn't that included into the terms and factors? Well, the fact is the parentheses is treated as one number. And we will get into that more throughout later lessons. Um, but for now, let's just know that the parentheses is the same as one number. Okay, so our factors in the individual terms. In the first term, our factors would be 2 and x because 2x is the same as 2 times x. In the second term, it will be 3x and y. And in the last term, it will be 2y and the quantity of 3 plus x. So in this example, we have 2 over x minus 3xy plus 2. So identifying the terms, our terms are 2 over x, negative 3xy, and 2. Our factors will be, well, in our first term, it will be 2 and 1 over x because this is the same thing as saying 2 times 1 over x. In the second term, it would be negative 3, x, and y. And lastly, in our third term, our factor would be 2. Now let's talk about like terms. Well, like term is a term that has the exact same factors. So in the example behind me, we have 2x plus 3y plus 5x. 2x and 5x both have the same factors. They're both have the factor x. So therefore, they are considered like terms. In this example, we have 2xy plus 3y squared minus 5xy minus y squared. So now let's find all of the like terms. So again, our like terms are all of the terms that has the exact same factors. So in this case, 2xy and negative 5xy have the exact same factors of xy. 
So those are like terms. In our next case, we have y squared and y squared. So therefore, these are like terms because they both have the same factors y squared. In this example, we have 3a cubed plus 4v squared plus 8a cubed plus 3v. So in this problem, we only have one set of like terms, uh, which is the a cubes. So 3a cubed and negative 8a cubed are the only like terms. Now, you may be thinking, why will v to the second power and the v's, why aren't they like terms? Remember, the definition of like terms is that the, they have to have the exact same factors. So this one has a v squared and this one has a v. So thus, they do not have the exact same factors. With all the prior knowledge that we learned from the last clips, we're now ready to combine like terms. So in combining like terms, it will take the prior knowledge of adding and subtracting integers. So if you guys are a little rusty on that, you might want to recall or review that video. But let's get to this example. So it says 3v plus vw plus 6v squared minus v plus 10vw. So the first thing we want to do is identify all of our like terms. Now I like to do this using different shapes such that at the end all I have to do is just combine all of my shapes together. So I'll start off with a circle. So my v's, well I have a 3v and I have a minus v. And notice when I'm circling I'm circling the sign that's in front of each uh, variable. And the variable is just the letter. That's all I mean by that when I say that. Okay, next I'll use squares. So I have VW here and I have a VW here. And lastly, I have a V squared. And V squared does not have another term that we can combine it with. So we'll just leave it alone. So now I'm going to take all of my circles and combine those. <clears throat> so this is 3v minus v. So this is the same thing as saying, well, 3 minus 1. Well, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So therefore, we can bring down 2v. Next in our squares, we have, well, vw plus 10vw. Well, this is the same thing as saying 1 plus 10, which equals 11. So therefore, we have 11 VW. And lastly, since we have this negative 6V squared, which we can't combine with anything, we just tack that on. So negative 6V squared. And this is our final answer. Okay, with all the prior knowledge that we learned from the last clips, we're now ready to combine like terms. So in combining like terms, it will take the prior knowledge of adding and subtracting integers. So if you guys are a little rusty on that, you might want to recall or review that video. But let's get to this example. So it says 3v plus vw plus 6v squared minus v plus 10vw. So the first thing we want to do is identify all of our like terms. Now, I like to do this using different shapes such that at the end, all I have to do is just combine all of my shapes together. So I'll start off with a circle. So my v's, well I have a 3v and I have a minus v. And notice when I'm circling, I'm circling the sign that's in front of each uh, variable. And the variable is just the letter. That's all I mean by that when I say that. Okay, next I'll use squares. So I have VW here and I have a VW here. And lastly I have a V squared and V squared does not have another term that we can combine it with. So we'll just leave it alone. So now I'm going to take all of my circles and combine those. <clears throat> so this is 3V 
minus V. So this is the same thing as saying, well, 3 minus 1. Well, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So therefore, we can bring down 2V. Next, in our squares, we have, well, VW plus 10VW. Well, this is the same thing as saying 1 plus 10, which equals 11. So therefore, we have 11VW. And lastly, since we have this negative 6V squared, which we can't combine with anything, we just tack that on. So negative 6V squared. And this is our final answer. Okay. This example may look intimidating, but it's really not that bad. So in this example, we have 1 third x plus xy minus 3x squared minus 3xy plus x squared plus 2 thirds x. So the first thing we're going to do is start by identifying our like terms. So first I'm going to use a circle to identify uh, my first uh, pairs of like terms. So I have an x and I have another x. Now I'm going to use squares. So now I have an x, y. And I have another x, y. Lastly, I, I think I'll use triangles. So I have an x to the second power. That triangle looks bad. And another x to the second power. So first I'm going to combine all my circles. So I have one third plus two thirds, which equals three thirds, which is the same as one. So this simplifies to just x. So now I have <clears throat> xy minus three xy. So this is the same thing as saying one minus three, which is equal to negative two. So therefore, I have negative 2xy. Lastly, I have negative 3x squared plus x squared. So this is negative 3 plus 1, which is equal to negative 2. So therefore, I have negative 2a squared. And this is my simplified answer. Now let's get into another example. So now we have x to the fourth, y to the third, plus x squared, y squared, minus 3x to the fourth, y to the third. Now this problem may look intimidating, but remember our first thing that we learned. Let's identify all of the terms. So we have three terms in this problem. We have x to the fourth, y to the third, x squared, y squared, and then we have negative 3x to the fourth, y to the third. So in each of those individual terms, remember our like terms are the ones that have the exact same factors. So in this case, we only have one set that has the exact same factors. And that's this one and this one. So off to the side, this will be the same as 1 minus 3, which is equal to negative 2. So therefore, we are left with <clears throat> negative 2, x to the fourth, y to the third, plus x squared, y squared. Hello again, guys. That was a lesson to get you jump started on combining your like terms. Um, if you, as always, if you have any additional questions or if you need any extra examples, just feel free to contact me. Thank you.